What evidence does Nona Tobin have to support voiding the HOA sale? Declarations under penalty of perjury by listing agent Craig Lighty, where Craig stated that, one, he sold 2763 White Sage for Nona Tobin on auction.com in May 2014 to high bidder at MKZ Properties, but the lender rejected the $367,500 offer. Two, Nation Star was not the beneficiary of the Hanson deed of trust. You know, during the process when I listed the property, uh, I had a conversation with Nona Tobin. Uh, Nona Tobin wanted to know who the beneficiary was of the property, whether it was Bank of America, Wells Fargo, or Nation Star. Uh, I, in communication with the uh, negotiator from Nation Star through the platform of Equator, asked that question repeatedly, and I was never given an answer uh, to the beneficiary. Equator, uh, the platform of Equator through communications of various people that were asked who the beneficiary of the note was, was never given to me and never revealed to the personal representative, which was known as Tobin of the estate of Bruce Hansen. But required Craig to relist the property in late July 2014 at $390,000. Three, Craig gave Red Rock the $1,100 offer from NationStar to close the auction.com $367,500 sale. Four, Craig did not know that Red Rock did not give the HOA board Nation Star's offer of one-year assessments, but instead characterized it as an owner request for a waiver of fees. Five, Red Rock's foreclosure file and the HOA's oral arguments contain claims that Craig requested thousands of dollars of fee waivers, but Craig did not. Six, Craig did not receive any notice from Red Rock or from the HOA that the property was scheduled for sale on August 15, 2014. At that time, I was never notified by the board. I was never notified by NationStar. I was never notified by the people at auction.com. I knew nothing that the sale was going on, and whenever Tom called me, I immediately called Red Rock Financial Services and tried to talk to Christy Marley. At that particular time, they said that Christy was on vacation and, you know, that they, they said, you can leave a message. Well, I asked for the foreclosure department there for someone to call me back. I never received a call back. Seven, Craig only received notice on the day of the sale from the buyer, Thomas Lucas, who informed Craig, as a courtesy to a fellow realtor, that he intended to bid on it that day. Red Rock never told me that they sold it. Uh, I was just told, you know, in the platform that it was over and that uh, Tom Lucas, you know, was going to be the buyer. He called me back and said, you know, hey, I bought the property and I think it was $63,100 of what he bought it for. There is no verified corroborated evidence in the court record that refutes any of Craig's statements made under penalty of perjury. Everything Craig said is supported by what Nona Tobin said under penalty of perjury.